excuse me? Can I tell you something very quickly? Yeah. Okay, well, I just saw you and I thought you looked really nice. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. I just want to say hello. Okay, hi. <laughs> When I showed that housing ad of Indian dudes looking for a white female roommate, some people in the comments were like, Oh, rehab, you are capping, dude. Must be fake. That stuff doesn't happen. Some people legit didn't believe it. I think a lot of you still underestimate how down some men are and how desperate financially some women are also. Recently, I have come across this Slumlord Canada page on Reddit where people post horrible housing listings in Canada. Now, even though the main point of the page isn't only this, you know, man looking for a white female tenant, <laughs> there are still so many similar listings, or looking for a white female with an open mind. <laughs> there is only one bad, so we will share, and the rent is 700. <laughs> or, we are 14 very friendly Indian men looking for a 19-year-old single female tenant. Guys, the listings like this are dime a dozen, actually. I don't know why so many people in the comments didn't think it was plausible. Or oh, must be fake. Brother, you don't know how deep this rabbit hole goes, I will tell you that. And I love people's reaction to my videos. <laughs> Just a whole new concept for them. Wait, this doesn't happen, right? <laughs> I will share some of them in this video. And mind you, these are only a few among many. I don't want to make this video freaking 7 hour long and top live stream. <laughs> Open adult lifestyle environment, another one from Ottawa. <laughs> Nothing is for free here. The listing reads, I am a single male in my 50s, looking for a female roommate that is compatible and comfortable with an open adult lifestyle environment. <laughs> that is also okay with doing the majority of the cooking and cleaning in the house. Rent is on a scale based on requirements and terms, but no lower than 500. <laughs> Yo, Canada is finished. Guys, I repeat, Canada is finished. No lower than 500, brother. Don't sell yourself short. She should pay you 5,000. After all, she gets to cook and clean and sleep with you as well. <laughs> Imagine, bro, you are gonna put out for him, blow him, and on top of that, you are gonna cook, clean, and pay rent too. <laughs> Imagine you are some early 20s, airhead girl, you know, your drunk father kicked you out. Now you are trying to make a living, you know, be the city girl and have to blow this 50 year old, 60 year old guy to make it. Brutal stuff, bro. Or you are some immigrant chick from a third world country and now you have to deal with him because the money your father sends you isn't enough in Canada. Imagine being her father too. You sacrifice from your own savings, break your back every day to send money to your daughter in Canada. But she still ends up blowing old men just to have a roof over her head. Brutal, bro. And I would actually love to see the woman who took up that offer. I want to see what she looks like <laughs> based on requirements and terms. If you don't give proper head, you will pay more. <laughs> And I love reading Reddit normies' shocked reactions. I am wondering if the wording no private bat means he will always bat with you. <laughs> it probably means the landlord has a window from their bedroom into the bathroom alongside with a 24-7 camera feed. And there are so many listings like this, man. Okay, one is fake. Are they all fake? Are they all made up? Oh, it doesn't happen, Rehab. This is fake. You don't know, bro. You don't know how deep desperation and low inhibition of man is. When financial desperation of low IQ women and sexual desperation of low IQ men meet, this happens. Both of which you have in abundance in this world. Another one. Sharing room for girl 60 percent. <laughs> what? Sharing room for girl 60 percent rent will pay by me for the for girl. Even we will do negotiate. <laughs> 350. You are gonna pay 350. Get abused by this guy. And these are only the tip of the iceberg. Guys, trust and believe, this is only the tip of the iceberg. The man doing this don't have the self-awareness to not say it out loud in that they post. Imagine how many of them are only responding to inquiries coming from poor and desperate looking women. Cause you know, they will be more willing to put out some fresh immigrant girl from India or Malaysia. These dudes don't even have the tact to not say it out loud. You are gonna pay 50 and get bent over to you. And the brutal thing is, there will be women accepting this offer. Maybe not the model looking ones, but there will be women accepting these offers. Some white women even, getting touched every night by some dude she hates, just to not pay rent. 
there's a reason why these ads keep getting posted. Guys, I understand something. Life is not really optimized. Some perfect competition market. Some of you were like, oh, rehab. It just doesn't make sense. Why wouldn't you open an OnlyFans and make money that way? I briefly explained this in my OnlyFans economics video. Guys, so many women don't even have the very basic work ethic and competence to make it work. To make it on OnlyFans. Then... Some don't want to be labeled as OnlyFans girl. Some don't want their pictures to be out there, you know. Don't want to lose out on some future beta box deluxe husband, potentially, you know. Or some Middle Eastern chick don't want her cousins or brothers to see those pictures somehow in the future. Like, different women have different angles and motivations. Multiple people told me this. Rehab, bro, why would any woman do this? Then they can just hop on OnlyFans. Guys, the answer is, people are not perfect beings. There is no perfect competition in the real world. Some don't want to deal with the stress that come with working. Any type of work. Some legit can't run an OnlyFans account on their own without a man handling the business side of it, you know. Even basic marketing and business strategies is too much for them. It is the business side they can't handle. Some are lazy. They can't even do OnlyFans even if they try. Do it like running a successful OnlyFans account as a woman without help of men still takes a certain level of competence. Not a very high level of it, but still, you need some level of intelligence. Just putting out for some landlord once a week is much easier for some woman to handle than doing the work to have a successful OnlyFans account. Some really can't and some women see OnlyFans as more degrading in their minds. In their minds, if they have an OnlyFans account, it makes them a prosy. But putting out for their landlord is different. They justify it that way. They don't see it as degrading then. Everybody has their own angles. Some women just don't demand much from life and are not very capable people in general, so they are just desperate for easy help, especially in today's individualist Western society. Some of those girls just settle for men that can provide, even if they hate those men, so that they can live an easy life, stress-free life. Another one. Rent free for single female 18 to 30 years old or female student in exchange for helping with housework and a little adult companionship. <laughs> Please tell me a bit about yourself or send a picture willing to work out an arrangement to suit both of us. Select single mothers will be considered. Like this one isn't even trying to hide. Why female only? He's like, hey man, I might be expecting favors. <laughs> Select single mothers, aka if she is young and hot enough. Comments are comedy too. I don't even have to question the type of person who is posting it. I think we all know. <laughs> I love Canada and I get upset because I see so much potential in it. But my god, is this country cooked right now? Housing being bartered for <laughs> adult companionship. Which is creepy enough as it is, but they said they were looking for girls as young as 18. Cooked nation. <laughs> I am not sure he has ever had adult companionship in his life. <laughs> Unfortunately, someone will take it out of desperation. Yeah, someone will accept that offer. Someone will accept it, but I don't understand some people, man. Like, why? Why would you do this if you have enough income to hire prosies? Like, what is the point, you know? I wouldn't do this under any circumstances. Any. Like, bro. You are gonna live under the same roof with that person. I would be scared. It would be awkward too, but like, I would also be scared. This woman is gonna be hating your guts every time she touches you out of desperation to not end up on the streets. Aren't you scared that one day she might snap? One day she might say, I had enough, man. I had enough with this life. But before peacing out, I'm gonna take this guy with me. Like, guys, she would come to my room and slit my throat during my sleep. She would poison my food. Set me up, you know, plant evidence and call the cops on me. Like, under no circumstances, I would agree to this. Why would you do this when you can just hire some professionals and get it over with? And that is not even including the awkwardness. It is going to be an awkward dynamic between you two. You are going to be living together. And you know, you know that she's disgusted with you. You just bond her the night before out of her desperation. And both of you are aware of this fact. And you are going to be coming out of the bathroom, having breakfast. Oh, you want some coffee? <laughs> like, how is that going to work, bro? It is like agreeing to live under the same roof with a prosy you frequent. 
but worse, much worse actually. It blows my mind, man. But then again, but once again, some men are so in the depths of starvation and desperation, they can't think straight. It doesn't make sense, but with oof, with oof, man, nothing does, guys. Nothing does. All limbic brain theory. This is when men start to think with their brain down below instead of their frontal lobes. People are insane, bro. It is funny considering they call us insane. You are crazy, rehab. You are obsessed with your face. Even women aren't this obsessed with their faces as much as you are. You are crazy. Dude, I look at this world and can't help but think we are some of the few, very few remaining sane people on this earth. Very few, bro. Another ad. Studio apartment available for rent on sharing basis. Available for one month. Rent 700. Only females. <laughs> sharing basis. He will definitely expect her to share. That is for sure. Some comment says, wait, that bed is also his bed? It has to be. There's no other rooms except the bathroom. Sharing basis. <laughs> for 700. And guys, there are so many listings like these. I could literally make this a three hour long video. I was surprised that so many of you were like, Oh, rehab bro, it must be fake. It must be a fake listing. Stuff like this happens all the time. All the time. Dudes renting out a room, looking for females only. Or oh, white female only, who has an open mind and legs, willing to try out new things. By the way, this subreddit is not only about men looking for a bang mate, but more about ridiculous housing market in Canada. And guys, I am seeing these offers and I am like, dude, this is tough. This is rough. I thought the place I had, I had moved to during my college years was bad. You know, the place I am always complaining about in my videos. The ethnic residence building, you know, an apartment old, kinda small. But guys, that place, my old apartment, looked like a palace compared to these. They are living like 10, 20 people in a room, in the same room. Bro, is this listing for cattles or humans? Brother, these are humans, people, not cattles. Ideal for 7 students. What are you saying? I am mind blown. I legit feel bad for Indian students going through this. Looking at these pictures, you know, puts it into perspective. Suffering is relative. I didn't go through college in these conditions, cramped in a room with seven other dudes. And not like their SMB is different than mine. Come on, man. Let's be real. Their SMB isn't gonna be worth anything as Indian students in Canada. They are gonna go through what I did, you know. Guys, peep this. Currently three persons living here. If you are taking it, you will be the fourth one sharing the one bedroom which is very spacious <laughs> for all four to sleep. You can't make this up, man. You call this spacious for four people. Like, guys, you see these ads and you start to understand why one of these girls might say, you know what, I will just take that offer. The offer of that 50-year-old man. I would rather have my own room. I will put out for him twice a week. It beats living with four other people in a cramped room, living like a cattle. I understand, man. Look at this. 600, 600 to share a basement with three other Indian girls. Turns out vegetarian is a code for Indians. I didn't know. I didn't know. And guys, this is one of the better ones. At least this one looks clean, you know. In others, you have to share the bath with four other Indian women. Or oh, rehab, bro, fake listing. Some of these Indian students, or even some white women, you know, some of those broke, dead broke, white, Latina girls, will be accepting these offers over sharing a freaking dog shack with three other women and pay more for it too. Trust and believe they will. Like, the more I look at this up, the more I go through these ads, the more I understand why. Dude, this is tough. A lot of women with no families or no any real support will... A cop that. Let's be real here, guys. Just put out, blow him a couple times a week and get to live in much better conditions while paying less. Sharing a basement with 10 other vegetarian women or sharing a single bed with 3 other women. Imagine the smell, the stench. Brutal, man. And guys, don't judge. We would do the same if we could. Stop copying, man. Dude, if I am cash strapped, about to be homeless and some 55 year old saggy seeking, disgusting looking woman, you know, missing teeth and stuff says, bone me three times a week and I will let you stay in my house. You are gonna have your own room. I am gonna get it up any way possible, one way or another, even for an old and obese woman. And I will just go with it, you know. 
rather than share the same room with 10 vegetarian men, you know? The sad and brutal thing is, we don't even get to do that. We are not even given that opportunity. That is how low men's SMV is. That 55-year-old disgusting looking woman can still find young man who's gonna bang her for free. That is the brutal part. I mean, the more I look at this subreddit, the more depressing it gets. The more and more depressing it gets, bro. Bunker bets are here. <laughs> 400 a month. Dude, what is this? 400 to live in a hostel room, basically, with 30 vegetarians. <laughs> I am gonna use this word. Oh, this is tough. Look at this. 850 <laughs> for this. Nearly 1000. Like, these ads are crazy. Dude, maybe I am out of touch with reality, with how bad housing market is today, but this is, <laughs> this is brutal. Some of the stuff these international students in Canada go through, they gotta be feeling extremely disillusioned. The reality ain't living up to expectations they had in their heads. They thought they were gonna have a, you know, cool party life with plenty of promiscuity going around, <laughs> only to live in cramped shacks competing against thousands of other immigrants for the minimum wage jobs to pay for the rent of that shack. So what's your name? Keshav. Yeah. Where are you from? Punjab, India. What brought you to Canada? Yeah. So I'm here for the studying and mostly for the PR life. Mm -hmm. That's everybody, every international student's dream. So with the job that you're looking for, um, have you already had any ex previous experience on that? No, I don't have any experience on any job. Like right now, I'm working at a gas station. It's uh, helping me a lot to understand yeah. some business tactics, but, yeah. but not that much. So in terms of future jobs that you would like to do after you graduate, what are you looking for? I'm an Andrew Tate fan, so jobs are for losers. Pardon? The dude said he's working at a gas station only 10 seconds ago, by the way. <laughs> Brother, gas station job is still a job. You know that, right? He's one of the dudes Andrew Tate is always clowning. But he doesn't have enough self-awareness and CPU power to understand that he's one of them. You know, those people working at the gas station while Andrew fills up his Bugatti. Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate. Yeah, the Romanian guy. The bald guy. Tell me why you want to be like Andrew Tate. He says to escape the matrix. Matrix is a, like a bubble made by the government. Like This is cringe over us. Even she is cringing. Even she can't stand the cringe maxer. Yeah, dude. You are escaping the matrix all right. In Canada, working at a gas station and watching Andrew Tate. Wow, you are the modern Socrates, bro. Just to be in there, to be slaves, they give you money to work for themselves 9 to 5, that's it. I, wa I want to be get rich. Considering um, how our generation has grown up with so much technology, do you think that in a way we have become lazier as a generation? Very much. And today's generation is too lazy. They're all on their phones or video games. They don't go out or play any sports or get better, uh, get better like physical physique yeah do you have any advice for anyone that's um kind of wanting to come to canada just don't come go to another country like right now canada the housing is too expensive this is the only sentence where he made some sense don't come housing is too expensive just from that sentence alone you can imagine what kind of conditions he lives in in one of those listings where people are treated like cattle. And I know some of my viewers in Canada are living in those conditions. International students in Canada, disillusioned and suffering. I feel for you guys, man. Life is rough. Suffering is a spectrum, really. Seeing stuff like this puts it into perspective. And there would be plenty of people out there who would love, love to trade places with people living in those cramped dog shacks in Canada. That is the crazy part. No matter who you are, no matter how bad you have it, how good you have it, there are plenty of people out there having it worse or better than you. I was thinking about that when I was browsing this subreddit. My old studio apartment in that old ethnic building, the one I always complain about. The only good thing I can say about that place is that it let me live alone during college. It gave me peace. It gave me distance from the mock happening in dormitory, right? The only advantage. It was really a crappy apartment otherwise, but these people would likely jump at the opportunity. But let me stop rambling. Enough commentary for this one already. Don't be afraid, gentle life.